Greek Prime Minister Antonis Samaras called the snap presidential election ending weeks of the political uncertainty which had damaged confidence in Greece's economic recovery. Mr Samaras is, is taking a risk, a bit of a gamble here. He decided that it was going to take a while to get a deal um, with the EU and the IMF on um, finishing up the next review and doing the next round of reforms. And it was better, in his view, to um, bring the presidential election forward so that we don't have two months of um, waiting and seeing over um, the negotiations on the last stage of the bailout. There's a sense on the ground in Athens that Mr Samaras has played a risky strategy here with the radical opposition Syriza party riding high in the polls. I don't think there's any doubt in people's minds that Syriza would come first um, if we had an election. And there's a huge element of, um, of risk here. He has 155 seats um, in Parliament together with his coalition partner, the Socialists. And he needs 180 on the third round in the presidential ballot. So that's 25 short. And where is he going to get them from? Independent MPs who've left his party and the socialists. So he needs to get some defections from an independent right-wing party. The news of the snap presidential election led to a huge one-day fall in the Greek stock exchange. And yet borrowing costs in the rest of the Eurozone periphery barely budged. Yeah, we saw a very sharp fall in uh, Greek uh, share prices um, this week. But we haven't really seen any big contagion effects to other European countries. I think there's a number of reasons for that. The biggest, biggest reason is that the markets are expecting quantitative easing, large-scale bond purchases by the European Central Bank, and that's really dominating the thinking. Another important reason is that Mario Draghi, the ECB president, has pledged to do whatever it takes to keep the Eurozone together, and people still believe him. There's a genuine chance that Mr Samaras's gamble will backfire and that Syriza will come to power in a general election. But market fears over the potential knock-on effects of this latest Greek political turmoil are limited. I mean, Syriza have been trying to talk to investors and the reaction from investors has been very hostile, which is why we saw such a sharp sell-off in Greek assets in bonds and equities this week. I think markets should be worried about what's going on in Greece because I think what's happening in terms of the potential political uh, fallout from the SNAP presidential poll could be really quite significant and it does cast into doubt the, the future of um, Greece within the Eurozone. But markets have learned over the years that uh, if you bet on the uh, Eurozone breaking up, you lose money because of these pledges by Mario Draghi, European Central Bank president, to do whatever it takes to hold it together. For now, markets are comforted by the promise Mr Draghi made back in 2012. If Mr Samaras's gamble on the presidential election pays off, he should be able to secure a new agreement with the Troika. If it doesn't, investors will be troubled by the prospect of a general election that Syriza would be favourites to win. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times.